Obviously, Apple uh, had a big event this morning, their Hello Again event. As expected, they unveiled the latest entries into their laptop hardware catalog. There's the new 2016 MacBook Pros, the first meaningful design upgrade to the lineup in years. They've done some like, you know, spec upgrades underneath underneath the hood, but um, this is like a big full-on design upgrade as well. Uh, they've swapped the function key row with a multi-touch enabled OLED panel called the touch bar. And that, of course, as rumors were hinting at, changes contextually based on, you know, what app is currently in use on the screen, what the context, is, you know, matches the context on your keyboard to what you're doing on the screen. Uh, there's also Touch ID integrated into that strip uh, onto the far right side for Apple Pay and security integrations. Uh, Apple trimmed down the size of the new laptops, making them thinner and lighter than any MacBook Pro before them. They, they went time and time again, went back to that thinner, lighter, blanker, <laughs> blanker. Uh, and Apple included four Thunderbolt 3 ports, two on each side for power and expandability. Prices are going to begin at $12.99 for a 13-inch version that does not have the touch bar, all the way up to $23.99 to start for the 15-inch version that does include the touch bar. What do you think? Uh, are you a MacBook Pro, you know, diehard MacBook Pro user? Is this compelling enough for you to upgrade? I have been a MacBook Pro user for nearly 10 years now. Uh, 2007 is when I jumped from Windows to uh, Macs and, uh -huh. and never looked back. Uh, I, this is long overdue. I mean, that goes without saying. This was it, it, two thoughts. It was long overdue, yeah. and that because it was so long overdue, it really needed something to make the wait justified. And in looking at this announcement, this is I give it a 90% sexy. <laughs> um, in that, in that, like, I feel, I feel like the, the thinness and the weight and all the display, all that sort of stuff is all in the right direction. It's thinner, lighter than ever before. We expect that now. Um, I think the touch bar is awesome. Uh, in fact, I believe it was on this show or on another show, Jason, we talked about, remember I speculated about the use of OLED. Mm -hmm. Um, we were talking, we were talking, it was, it was speculated to be e-ink. Remember we had talked about that? Yeah. There's and, a rumor that that might happen eventually still, but who knows? Yeah. Right. But and I had said, forget e ink, why not OLED? And I was glad to see that I was right in that they used the OLED technology for the touch bar. I love the idea of contextual menus. If I'm using Photoshop, give me buttons that are that are related to Photoshop, right. et cetera. They saw saw some great demos with the CEO of Algorithm doing the demo DJ, which is great for DJing. Yep. Um, very cool stuff. Uh, it falls it doesn't get a full hundred percent sexy for me because uh, you just get the sense that the folks at Apple aren't talking to one another um, because it has a headphone jack. I thought <laughs> headphone jacks were old technology. I, I don't know. Um, I'll give them a thumbs up for that. Keep it in. Well, I, I do too. But but you want you know you make you made this whole big deal a month yeah. ago about the, the headphone jack was dead and now it's got it in here. Um, it's all thunder Thunderbolt uh, ports, right. no USB. Nothing like that. So lots of people who have iPhones, old iPhones that only connect via USB, how are they going to connect? You know, like the 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 adherence to their proprietary connectors really bother me. Just put a USB port on there. Put a USB-C port on there. Um, those are the areas that I was really disappointed in. Um, but other than that, I think, I mean, this is really, really interesting stuff in an interesting direction. And I'm curious to see where they take the touch bar technology from here. Yeah, I think the ethos is there. Like, like yes, the headphone jack is still here, and that doesn't like gel with with their rationale for including it on a, on the iPhone and not here. But the same ethos is driving a lot of what they're doing with um with with the lightning or sorry the thunder uh, thunderbolt three ports in the sense that we've trimmed down the number of different disparate ports that do all these different things and given you instead these multi-purpose ports that do all those things. Asterisk, as long as you have the right dongle to do those things and you may right, remember yeah. to bring it with you. You're right. And, and if you ask me, nothing is not sexy as having multiple <laughs> dongles hanging off yeah. your laptop. That drives me crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the, uh, some of these connectors, and I, I'm all for the most efficient and best performance and all this sort of stuff, but USB is a universal standard that has been adopted by thousands of hardware manufacturers. And to require a dongle for it to work with this new laptop is just is a pain in the butt, which I think they could have just easily rectified by having one USB port on there. How hard would that be? Sure. And then then if you'd have more USB devices, then get a USB dongle and there it goes with their dongle philosophy. But just give me one. I, I don't know. <laughs> I like that. The dongle philosophy. Um <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm not sure, really sure how I feel about the the lightning ports. Like, I'm, I'm at least happy that they give you four so that if you yep. are using this in professional, 
you know, s scenarios where you want, you know, a couple of monitors and you want to drive a mixer, you know, a, a, an external mixer or whatever. It gives you at least a, a little bit of expandability beyond just one or two ports. Also lets you, you know, plug your power on either side. And that's nice. No more MagSafe. So the MagSafe is yeah. gone. A lot of people are, were kind of bummed about that. Some people actually don't care because they didn't like MagSafe. Um, butterfly keys. So it's a lower profile keyboard. And I haven't really had much time uh, typing on the butterfly key approach. Andy and Otko, you know, we did the live coverage, Megan, myself, and Andy this morning. And uh, he is not a, a fan at all of the butterfly keyboard. So he's really not looking forward to uh, the fact that they've done that here. Uh, yeah, I, I, get, I get the sense that Andy is very much like me and that I like a big, heavy keyboard that goes clack, clack, clack. As yeah, you type travel. And, yeah, and, and the the uh, the butterfly keys, I have not had a ton of a ton of experience on, on them. I've typed on a, a couple of them here and there, and I haven't liked it either. But I think that's just one of the things where they're going for slim, they're going for light, and butterfly works in that direction better than physical clack, clack, clack keys. Right, so. right, right. Uh, and then, of course, the touch bar on, on one hand, it feels like Apple's moving, you know, kind of d tipping their toes into the touchscreen sort of thing. But then I read this interview uh, with Johnny Ive and, and Schiller to CNET where they, they, again, they reiterated and they've said this time and time again in the past, full touchscreen Macs aren't particularly useful, they say. They say it's a burden when Apple is really aiming for thinner and lighter. So a lot of these changes, you know, sometimes they are driven and, you know, same goes for the headphone jack, same goes for the, the you know, combining all the ports into these multi-purpose ports. Um, a lot of the decisions are driven around this kind of push to make a smaller form factor, a tighter kind of sexy looking device on it on its own. Uh, but it brings with it some ba some baggage. Yeah. yeah. And and it also brings, um, you know, challenges for accessibility and issues around yes, that. And, big time. And, and, you know, and, you know, so like, you know, someone who, you know, knows what the keyboard layout is can use the keys, whether they can see them or not. But this touch bar brings a lot of challenges because if you don't, if you're blind, you can't see what's on that touch bar. Yeah, which is um, very interesting yeah. because they led the entire event. The very first thing you even saw if you tuned in was a like a two minute video dedicated to how um, devoted Apple is to accessibility features. And then yeah. their key feature in this laptop, they didn't mention anything about accessibility. And I mean, it's a, it's a screen. So there is no tactile aspect to it. Uh, I have to imagine that's not very good for accessibility. So it was a strange yeah. contrast. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is that you can't, unfortunately, you can't make everybody happy all the time, right? Yeah. So you, you pick and choose your battles. And, you know, Johnny Ive and, and uh, you know, has clearly stated, this is what we're going for. This is the design profile we're going for. It's completely, you know, thin, light, not, you know, not burdensome, you know, like, and that, and that goes, that a lot, the hardware philosophy aligns with the software philosophy and that it should be easy to use and accessible and all that sort of stuff. Um, time will tell whether it is. I mean, you got to put it to user testing to find out. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, hey, if you, if you, if you were married to an escape key, you can kiss that sucker goodbye unless your app needs it because uh, yeah. this escape key is gone. So <laughs> having, having said that on a, on a personal level, I'm, I'm very curious and interested. I know we're going to be getting one of these in our household. My wife is in dire need of an upgrade to her MacBook uh, and, she, and she's been waiting for this. So, uh, you know, tell you, tell you how it goes. I mean, uh, the thing is, the thing is I, I love it. I love the touch. I, I, I think it's so cool and I want one just to play with it. I don't and whether or not we actually use it or not. But I yeah. think it's, it's just seeing this video now. It just looks so it, I just want to play with it. So, yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs>